Hello. Communicating. That's the name of the game today. Communiquer, c'est une des choses les plus importantes au jour d'aujourd'hui. Et c'est sans doute pour ça que vous cherchez à apprendre l'anglais. C'est pas pour vous parler tout haut, tout seul. Dans cette petite série, on va voir trois moyens de communiquer. Écrire une lettre, téléphoner, et puis quand même une approche de l'ordinateur. First of all, writing a letter. Immediately, there is a trap. Il y a tout de suite un piège. For the date. In the United States, when you're only using numbers, if I write 7, 6, 10, that means July the 6th, 2010. If I write the same thing in England, 7, 6, 10, that means the 7th of June, 2010. And you'll find this explained uh, in writing, in text, if you go to the Cours en Format Text, which you can reach by clicking on the little PDF icon at the bottom of the uh, opening page of the course. Okay, we've written the date, and we know whether we're English or American. How do you begin? Dear, cher, Dear Dad, cher Papa, Dear Mom, cher Maman, Dear Sis, cher Frangine, Dear Bro, B-R-O, cher Frangin, Dear Jim, Dear Friend, Dear Sir, Dear Madam. Madam without an E at the end, M-A-D-A-M in English. That's fairly familiar way of beginning a letter. If you want to be a bit more distant, formal, administrative, you simply begin sir or madam. If I were writing to the tax authority, I don't think I'd begin dear friend. Or if you want to be completely familiar, if it's a friend of yours, a close friend, you can simply say hello or hi. H-I. Salut. How do you end the letter? La salutation finale. Yours sincerely, or yours very sincerely, or you can turn it around and say sincerely yours, or very sincerely yours. Meilleur sentiment, ou... Les sentiments les meilleurs. Mes sentiments les meilleurs. A little bit more respectful, formal. Yours truly. Sentiment respectueux. To a friend, you would say best, best wishes, cheers. Cheers is more English, but Americans are starting to use it. Meilleur de, à plus. Now, to write a letter, if you're like me, you don't have a typewriter anymore. Il n'y a plus de machine à écrire dans la maison. So, what is your toolkit? You need letter paper, a pencil, un crayon, or a pen, un stylo. If you're old-fashioned, you would have an ink pen in plume. Need an envelope. I don't think I need to tell you what that is in French. You need a stamp or postage stamp. Tambo, tambo postal. And then you, once you've addressed the envelope, put the letter in it, put a stamp on, you go out to... Post it, the English say. And where do you post it in England? In a post box. But to let. 
Americans understand that, but they say, they don't say to post a letter, they say to mail a letter in a mailbox. Or you can go to the post office, build a post. How do you want your letter to go? Surface mail, courrier normal. Air mail, par avion. Registered mail, courrier recommandé. Registered mail, return receipt requested, courrier recommandé, avec accusé de réception. If you don't want to write a whole big letter, you can easily just send a postcard, particularly if you have just visited Vaux Vicomte. I'm sure your friends would appreciate seeing that. Okay, again, let me repeat, you'll find all this vocabulary uh, if you go to the text, courrier text. In just a few minutes, we'll be telephoning.